up everyone? So we're gonna pink. No, we're gonna pink. We're gonna paint Mata's controller pink. This is a brand new controller. So we're gonna take it apart. The, it has four screws right here. One, two, three, four. And you need a tiny screwdriver. I don't know the sizes. It's a Phillips. That's all I can tell you. The easiest part to take off. Um, because the other one you have to cover quite some pieces. So battery. All apart, tape it all in right now. So I, I'm gonna set everything up to paint both of them at the same time. Okay, so here we are. Sand it a little down. I got this thing right here. Shake it well. Try to do it really far so you get a really good color. I'm also gonna move this one. Don't wanna ruin it. There we go. First coat. Really don't want to do too much paint. And there's the second one I prepped. There it is. It's all prepped up, wrapped inside. You have to cover this plastic and the inside because there's a little board there. And you got to be really careful with spraying over here because you also have to cover the little USB. So here we go. You need to shake it really well. You don't want to anyway or particles either so we're back this is gonna be the second coat so again far away I can already see that so I'm gonna pull it from the bottom and the little knobs try to get that we go. Probably it. That's probably gonna be it. I don't think I'm gonna do a third coat. Inspect that real quick. It's fine. <clears throat> so again, shake the can really well. You don't want any mistakes. And the knobs again. Make sure you get them really well. And this one as well. I think I'm only going to do this coat. And that's probably going to be it. That's it. I'm actually going to leave this one here. So here it is. This is the second coat. I'm just going to do a clear coat and I'm going to do one clear coat. Um, a good clear coat because uh, first of all I don't want it to be too thick. And second of all I want it to... Uh, it's already shiny so it doesn't need too much. But I'm going to get it well. Like I'm going to get all parts of it. So here we go. So this is the last clear coat on this part. Um, like I said again, one good clear coat, and that's it. That's it. And I want to show the paints I use. So I use the paint for plastic. This is the the what is it called? The clear coat. Clear coat. It's for plastic. Same with this one also bonds to plastic make sure it's not wood i actually did this and you can see that there but i did it with paint that is not for plastic and you can tell how it didn't add well i have two of those pieces so it doesn't matter i have one that's just black so it's not going to make a difference for me because i also have the other part that I, if i that one screws up and doesn't look well i use a, a normal one but as you can tell it doesn't adhere as well it looks a little like coming off the plastic so yeah, use for plastic. And we'll show when it's all back together because this is all done. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, so here it is, finished product. Pink, pink, 
Um, we're gonna put it back together or attempt <laughs> to put it back together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put the little light back together. What's up everyone? So just for a second I want to show the finished product again. Um, here it is. It's uh, very nice. It ended up really really well done. Um, I'm going to turn on the light so you see everything is functional. Very bright. Um, yeah, it's perfect. Um, the clear coat, if you do it right, uh, it won't feel sticky. If you leave it uh, without a clear coat, it'll feel sticky when you play. And yeah, you don't want that. So here it is. Um, all the detail. Pretty nice and smooth. Only little thing is like there's a little blemish right here. You can see a little black detail right there. But um, I mean, it's not a deal breaker. Um, all of these, uh, these things get hurt sometimes but overall it looks very nice good quality uh, look at that uh, you can tell it was I didn't rush it I did it well done remember to cover this the USB with tape um, the bumpers all look and they remain very nice and firm um, they have a bounce to them, which is really good. Yeah, so I just wanted to show this. Um, so you see that it, it actually works just fine. We already tested it with Infamous for a minute. And yeah, it just, it's perfect. Um, and like I said, I didn't use the green one. I used the black one that I had extra. And everything's just fine. It, um, the sound, the speaker sound, well. So there it is, the pink... PS4 remote, the DualShock 4 in pink, and if you do it right, this will run you. Uh, the clear code is like four bucks. No, it's like three bucks, four bucks. Um, each can is like four bucks. So let's say if you do two colors like I did here, uh, that was like twelve bucks. But the the tape, I actually bought professional tape for uh, for walls. For uh, masking tape and I bought it at Home Depot and that ran me five bucks and I really wanted that one because it, it uh, clears the edges really well and what worried me was the light like I didn't want any of the plastic to get dirty because if you get the plastic that goes inside dirty um, it'll, it won't look as clear and you can tell this one is really clear there's absolutely nothing touched it and it also did a really good job with this I did get it a little on the edge if you're picky about that you can grab like a like a little knife and very smoothly take off the little uh, the, that little piece of pl uh, paint right at the bottom but it it didn't hit the USB so it's, it's super clean so I didn't worry too much about it um, yeah I mean look at it it looks super nice yeah there's no chunky um, paint anywhere it's not thick anywhere it's it's just really really nice um, Another thing that I do want to mention and I, I can't emphasize enough is uh, the knobs. You don't notice it because you're painting on, on top. So you won't notice it um, until it's done. 
but as you can tell I went back and uh, and did a few coats here same with the knobs over here because you paint it this way you forget about this side uh, don't forget about that side very important it'll make it it'll make the world of a difference um, you'll make it look more professional and nicer yeah but uh, this is the end product everything works everything feels super nice and smooth as you can tell it's not sticky so make sure you do a very good clear coat um, you can do more than one I did one because like I said I, I do have experience working with a uh, spray paint I do a lot of spray painting so I do work a lot with this and I know uh, the distances and things like that and and how much you need because I do work with spray paint and yeah look at this there's like absolutely no stickiness and it's really good because uh, you don't want it to feel sticky after you're you're playing for a bit same with the back I did it so look at this it's very smooth and nice um, yeah so it's ready to be played with uh, we're probably gonna play some knack with this during the week um, it's already the weekend so we're not gonna be playing a knack but but we will play during the week some more.